Uh, the essence of this tutorial is to instill uh, confidence in you as well as show you how you can score 30 over 30 in your TME as a student of National Opera University. As you already know, TME stands for Total Mark Assignment, which constitutes 30% uh, of your total assessment for that particular semester. Um, I would like to encourage you to do your TMA yourself. Don't give it to anybody who assures you that uh, he will give you 30 over 30. No, it is totally wrong for you giving out your TMA. It tells that it tells that you are already a failure. So doing your TMA yourself it helps you to uh, familiarize yourself with the TMS uh, questions because uh, most times this TMS question do comes out during your exam by the time you get acquainted with them and I'm sure um, you'll be able to perform beyond uh, beyond your expectation or let me say you perform very well as a student um another thing i want to emphasize on um as a student of national Open university um i would like you uh, to share this tutorial by the end of it uh, also encourage someone out there who is discouraged just make sure that uh, we share this tutorial with such a uh, kind of people you may not know how impactful this tutorial might be of help to them so uh, thank you as you enjoy this tutorial so um, if you have your mobile phone with you or uh, uh, you have uh, your PC so I would like you to uh, just follow this tutorial uh, one after the other follow it as I'm doing it you can be doing it as well with your smartphone or your system so I'm sure you are all uh, you are ready for, uh, for what I'll be teaching you here so if you have your smartphone just go to google chrome or you can go to any browser that is very good uh, if you have your pc you can open you can open microsoft edge or mozilla firefox or any browser that is uh, very good so i'll be using uh, microsoft edge so let me go to it so once you get here or uh, once your browser opens you just go to uh, www.elen okay that's already come out comes out so i'm going to uh, uh, click on it or so let me just press enter so the first search result so i'm going to click on it so i'm expected that uh, it will take me to uh, the login page so when you get here you log in with your matric number and your password and uh, this is my password so this is my password and this is my matric number here all right then i'm going to click uh, login so this is my dashboard all right this is my dashboard so let me go to uh, my courses all right so as you can see them they're all here so all right let me go to let me just pick one of the 
courses I'm going to pick as CIT 206 so if you are offering a different course don't worry you can click on any of your course your courses that you are being offered so like here let me click on this so right let me show you what i've done so far all right all right this is a nine over ten all right so let me click back Very very slow. Let me click. Uh, let me refresh it. Network is very bad. for the interruption so I just want to show you the previous uh, scores okay let me so as you can see it's 9 over 10 all right so let me click this so let's go to uh, so let's uh, go to TMA three. Now I want to say something here, which I forgot to uh, tell you. We have a uh, TMA1, TMA2, TMA3, and each one carries uh, 10 good uh, marks. And uh, if you are able to score 10 over 10 in each of the three TMAs, it means that you have 30. Because if you score 10 in each of them, you multiply by 3, that gives you 30. So let's begin now. So I want you to pay attention. All right. Now, when you get here, now, uh, if you have any doc, uh, any uh, application that can open uh, a PDF document uh, we have Adobe reader we have so many of them you can go to your file if you have downloaded the course that you are you are to do your TMA then you can just go to it now we want to do what is called searching just like if you want to uh, search for a meaning of something you go to uh, uh, to browser and type it. Google will bring out the result for you. 
So it's the same thing we're going to do here. All right. So now, since uh, I will assume that I have not downloaded it, right? So uh, is let me see the cost code. Okay, CIT two zero six, right? So I'm going to what download it, CIT two zero six. All right, good. So discrete structure. So it has um, this coming. Good. So once you get here, you click on the this box right that is where you do the search all right this is where i want you to pay attention very very well so let me highlight this uh, um, let me highlight this phrase all right let me highlight it all right so let me copy it right okay oh, sorry let me come here then so we're going to do our search here paste it good a graph is by partite is by partite let's see if we can find anything like that a graph is what by partite that is what so this is our answer right where i highlight uh, where you are seeing this puzzle so this is by partite all right so by that by partite is our answer so let's quickly move to all right to our next so um, question right dash is a statement which is true on the base i mean the basis of logical form alone all right don't worry so let me uh, copy it then do what we are I've done previously let me delete this and then let me put uh, let me good so tautology is a statement so let me check it out oh this is the answer tautology tautology right this is it from here alright so our search has given us our tautology as the answer alright alright I hope you are following uh, this tutorial I want you to enjoy it and not just you we pass it out to others let's quickly move to the next question alright right so let me uh, highlight this uh, phrase all right good let me highlight it Highlight it all right oh so diagonal matrix is called diagonal matrix is our answer so you can see it here so you see where I just highlight this diagonal matrix so let's go to our question so a diagonal matrix trait is our answer all right so all right 
let's quickly move to our next question which has already uh, loaded all right so all right so let's do our search as we have previously done so the next question wow it shows that there's nothing like that all right don't worry all right um showing me the same thing all right wow still giving me uh, search okay now when you try to search uh, through um, uh, through the questions and then uh, you are unable to get your search then uh, you can use uh, this option all right I use the option to do your search all right so let's try using our option still giving me zero search all right so let's do it one after the other still give me zero search which means there's nothing like that so still give me zero don't worry we surely get the answer. All right. See, giving me zero. When you see zero versus zero here, it shows that there's nothing like that in your course material. So, all right. Okay, now let me go back to the question. And then let me click on this 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 all right let me click on let me try it all right just pay attention all right all right okay let me try to delete this matrix see you in words zero so let me try this all right all right all right okay Wow. So, um, when
why you discover that while you are answering the, your TMA questions, at times you discover that no matter how you search, you search your course material, you may not find the right answer. Meaning that your lecturer or your facilitator might want you to fill that particular question. Mind you, it's not only you. All the students that are offering that particular course is the same thing they will encounter in their TMA portal. So it's not you. So don't say that your lecturer or your facilitator hates you. Decide uh, they don't even know you. So now uh, we just keep that one and then let's go to this. Let's try it. All right. Let's try this. Don't worry. Don't worry. So when you try your search and you are unable to get the right answer don't be discouraged all right so you see this one we have what diagonal matrix and it gives us one over one which means it's only one search result that um, you will get in your course material that's the phrase that is the same thing you will get all right so scalar matrix so answer so let's go to our question let's check it out so scalar is our answer so let's go to the next question propositional variables are also called uh, let's check it out so as usual let's delete this uh, previous one all right so let's paste it showing me zero versus zero let me uh, reduce it good so it's showing that it's only two uh, phrase or such result that we can get so let me go next good i also call sentential variables so let's check it out so they are what sentential variable so let me go to the next question two graphs are what uh dash so so all right let's delete uh, this one good two graphs are as as isomorphic right they are somorphic they are what asomorphic so you can see they are formorphic here so this is isomorphic right so you can see it here where i highlight the word isomorphic all right so you click on the next question following are types of matrix so let's check the types of matrix that we have see what all right so let me click on it so let's check it out the types what it gives me what does we could only get uh, three such results in our course material so we have raw matrix and column matrix we have null or zero matrix and we have what square matrix so let's check it out 
we have a null or zero matrix, square matrix, raw, let's see, raw, so it means that, it means that uh, we don't have order of matrix, so we only have three types of matrix six, right, we only have three, and which is null or zero matrix, square matrix, raw matrix and color matrix let's go to the next question a statesman cannot be divided into smaller statesmen so so just uh, watch this tutorial carefully and I'm sure um, And I'm sure that uh, you'll be able to excel in your academic uh, pursuit. So let me reduce the statement, right? All right. All right. Okay, let me reduce it and. And then I uh, copy it. Still showing me there's nothing like that. Okay, let me um, try searching using the, the option. Option number one. That's option A. So let me copy it. Take it to. So let's check it out. So the statement is said to be atomic statement if it cannot be divided into smaller statements. Let me see. Right? So this is our answer. So atomic statement is our answer. So as you can see, uh, I don't need to do the search again and again. I don't want to waste uh, so much time answering one particular question so you can see it here atomic statement a statement is said to be an atomic statement if it cannot be divided into smaller statements otherwise is what molecular statement yes molecular statement is an opposite of atomic statement which means that if it is molecular statement it can be divided or atomic statement cannot be divided and as you already know atom is uh, is something that cannot be divided it remains indivisible so that is just it so let's go to the next question which is our last question set x and y are said to be right so 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 right so i set to be dash set if they have no element in common if they have no element in common that is that's their disjoint set so get it their disjoint set so let's check from the option and see where we can get disjoint set All right so disjoint now right let's go to number four which we try to search and we are not able to get the right answer right so i would suggest that i can just pick anyone anyone because i don't know which one is the right answer so i will just pick anyone because we have searched our course material we couldn't find any t any uh any term or phrase that match 
what we are searching for. I did all I could, so couldn't find it. Um, don't worry. If you experience uh, such, don't be discouraged. Uh, why your lecturer does that? So that you may not score 30 over 30 in your TMA, so that you'll be able to work harder in your exam. Uh, for example, if you score out of all the uh, your TMA, that means uh, TMA 1, TMA 2, TMA 3, and you are able to get like 25 or 26. It is expected that for you to get credit and above, then you need to score a minimum of 25 in your exam for you to have C and above. So that is why uh, these people are very smart people. They know how to deal with lazy students, right? So uh, let me click on submit. Mind you, once you submit, there's nothing that you can do again. Once you submit, you have submitted. So it goes straight to the school admin so as you can see my final grade is 9 over 9 all right is what 9 over 9 is 9 over 9 as I've said right from the beginning I would like you to share this tutorial to someone out there you might not know how helpful this tutorial might of help make sure you follow my youtube channel and my facebook page and then um, feel free to ask any question and i'm ready to answer you i have right from my hundred level i've been doing all my teaming myself i've been doing this myself until when I now discover the secrets. That is why I'm taking my time to share it with you. So enjoy yourself. Mind you, don't give your TMA to a third party to do it for you. That person might not get you the, uh, the expected mark that you, you want. But following these secrets and I'm sure you'll be able to uh, get even 30 over 30 so if you do your search very well we get it there's nothing that you can't uh, that you can't get just make sure you understand the question once you get the, uh, you understand the question to answer it will not be a problem so thank you um